In one breath, she was gone. And the music, silent. But some love runs too deep to end. So he followed her, into the dark. He carried only a lyre, and a grief that no god could measure. He did not plead with words. His melody did the weeping. Creating your own animated story like this with consistent 3D characters is now easier than ever, thanks to AI. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how I brought the tragic myth of Orpheus and Eurydice to life, from designing their characters to customizing their facial expressions, clothing, and interactions. Let's dive in. Let's start by creating our first character, Orpheus. Orpheus is a legendary musician and poet in Greek mythology, so I want his design to reflect both his artistic spirit and the emotional depth of his story. I will be using Design AI to generate the character sheet. This platform allows you to train consistent 3D characters with multiple poses and angles, which is essential for creating an animated story with continuity. You can use the link in the description box to follow along. First, I'll create a new project and choose the aspect ratio. I'm going with 16 by 9 since that works best for wide cinematic animations. Now let's generate the base design for Orpheus using a detailed prompt. I want him to look youthful yet heroic. To do that, I will click on the character tab and choose the character sheet. I'm using the cozy 3D style because I love how warm and cinematic the characters look in it. It really suits emotional storytelling. Then I will go ahead and paste the prompt. I will leave every other setting as it is and click on generate. Once the character sheet is generated, I look through the variations and select the one that shows Orpheus from different angles, front, side, and slightly turned. Also, the image looks better. Now I'll double click to add the design to my canvas. This is the final set I will be using for the next step, which is training the character. We need to train the character so the AI can recreate Orpheus in any scene. To show you how it is done, I'll click on the number matching the image under the build character button, give him the name Orpheus and start training the model. This typically takes about 10 to 20 minutes. I've already trained Orpheus ahead of time, so I'll just select him from my character library. Now we're ready to start generating consistent images of Orpheus in different story settings. But before we do that, let's talk about Eurydice, the second half of this timeless story. In mythology, Eurydice is more than just Orpheus's lost love. She represents innocence, devotion, and the quiet strength that lingers even in tragedy. I wanted to capture her delicate presence and deep emotional pull in her design. I followed the same steps I used for Orpheus to generate and train her. Like Orpheus, I chose a character sheet that showed her from different angles, then trained the model so she can appear consistently in every part of the animation. With both Orpheus and Eurydice now trained, we're ready to bring them into the story and start building their world scene by scene. Just a quick note before we move on, the script for this mythological love story was written using ChatGPT, which helped me structure the narration and capture the emotional tone of Orpheus and Eurydice's journey. Now let's move on to building their first scene together. This is where the magic begins. I want to start the story with a moment of peace and beauty before everything changes. So the first scene I created shows Orpheus and Eurydice in a golden meadow, surrounded by wildflowers, light and music. Click on the character icon, click on generate images. Make sure the character you want to use is selected, in this case is Orpheus. Once the selection happens, you are provided with a couple of boxes. The first one gives you a description of the character, leave it as it is. Next in character action and scene, this is where we input the prompt. Here's the prompt I use to generate this cinematic shot. A wide cinematic shot of Orpheus sitting under a tree in a golden meadow, gently strumming his glowing lyre. Eurydice dances barefoot nearby in the field, her dress flowing with each spin. 
the wildflowers around them ripple in the warm wind and glowing musical notes rise into the air, the lighting is golden hour soft with dreamy shadows and warm atmosphere. Style, Pixar 3D animation, cinematic, magical realism, high detail. I made sure to use the names of the trained characters in the prompt, Orpheus, so the AI knows exactly which models to use and keeps them consistent with everything we've already generated. You can use the camera option, choose the camera shot and the character direction. I will leave it as default, then click on generate. Once the image is generated, I double click the variation I like to add it to my canvas. And just like that, we've built our first scene. The result is a soft dreamlike moment that captures the warmth of their love before the tragedy begins. It sets the tone for everything that follows. Now that we have our beautiful first scene, there are a couple of small details we can tweak to make the image even better and more emotionally accurate. For instance, Orpheus is supposed to look happy in this moment. He's playing music, watching Eurydice dance, but his expression doesn't quite match that joy. To fix that, just click on the image, then select expression at the top. The tool will automatically highlight all the faces in the image. Select Orpheus's face and you'll see several sliders appear for different emotions and facial adjustments. I'll go ahead and increase the smile slider to 0.97. That gives him a much more joyful fitting expression for this peaceful scene. Once you're satisfied with the adjustment, click done and the change will be applied instantly. Another quick fix I want to make is to Orpheus's hand, which looks a bit off in the generated image. To fix that, click on hand repair, then circle the area that looks unnatural, in this case, his right hand. The tool will generate a few corrected versions. Just double click the one you like best and it will automatically replace the original image with the corrected version. These subtle edits go a long way in making the scene more polished, expressive and believable. Now, looking at this image, you can see that the lady here is not Eurydice, but a placeholder image. Luckily, design makes it easy to replace that character with the trained version of Eurydice. Here's how to do it. Click on character and click on insert character in the dialog box that will appear. Select the lasso tool. Use the tool to carefully to select the area around the female character that needs to be replaced. Once that area is highlighted, choose your trained character model, in this case Eurydice, and enter a short description of what she's doing in the scene. For example, Eurydice dancing barefoot in the field, smiling softly dress flowing with motion, 3D Pixar style, then select the character direction. Since she's facing Orpheus from the right, I'll choose the right view. Click generate and design will give you four new image options with Eurydice accurately placed in the scene. Just pick the one you like best and add it to your canvas by double clicking. This is the same process I used to create all the images used throughout the video, whether it was inserting Eurydice, adjusting Orpheus or replacing any placeholder characters with the trained models. It's a simple but powerful way to make sure your story stays visually consistent from beginning to end. Once your image looks just right, it's time to bring it to life through animation. To animate your image, click on the image number beside AI video and then open the AI video dialog box on the left. This dialog box houses a list of available video generators. I'll be using Kling 1.6 Pro for this example because it produces smooth cinematic motion. In the prompt box, I type in, the young man plays his harp and the lady dances, spinning gently. I also adjust the imagination slider to a balance setting, 0.5, to keep the results grounded, 
but creative. Then I select the video duration and click generate. It typically takes about five to 10 minutes to complete. And here is the result. These same steps were used to animate all the scenes throughout the video. But what about the moments where characters speak? That's where one of design's newest features comes in, lip syncing. This feature makes it super easy to animate the character's mouth movements and it is super realistic. Under the generated video, click on lip sync. If the scene includes multiple faces, it will ask you to select which character you want to sync. Once selected, click pick a voice. You have two options. Use text to speech, type in your script and choose from the available voices or upload your own audio which is what I did. I uploaded the voiceover I created earlier. Important note, design currently allows lip syncing for up to 30 seconds per audio clip. If your audio is longer, you'll need to break it into 30 second segments. Also, if your video clip is shorter than your audio, the system will loop it automatically to match the duration, which is nice. Then go ahead to generate the video. The processing time is around 5 to 10 minutes and as you'll see, the lip syncing quality is very impressive, adding a whole new level of realism to your animation. Once you have all your assets, animated scenes, voiceovers and synced dialogue, it's time to bring everything together into a finished video. I used CapCut as my video editor of choice. It's simple, fast and gives you enough control to align visuals with audio add background music, sound effects, or text overlays. Just drag in your clips, arrange them in the correct order, trim where needed, add transitions, effects, sound effects, background music where needed, and in strategic locations, as you can see here on the timeline. Make sure you play the video back as you make these placements to be sure they convey the emotions you need for your story. Once you are done, export your final animation and that's it. You've just created a fully AI powered animated short story with consistent characters, emotion and cinematic quality. Let's take a look at the final 3D animation we created using nothing but AI tools and a bit of creativity. His music could calm storms and charm the wind, but it danced only for her. You always play when I dance. Only because you move like a song. In one breath, she was gone, and the music, silent. But some love runs too deep to end. So he followed her, into the dark. He carried only a liar, and a grief that no god could measure. He did not plead with words. His melody did the weeping. She may follow, but if you look back before she walks into the light, she will remain here forever. Orpheus nods, silent. Hope flickers in his eyes, and so he walked. One rule, one burden. Do not look back. Orpheus, are you there? If this inspired you to start telling your own stories with AI through a faceless YouTube channel, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I will be sharing more step-by-step -step tutorials, creative workflows, and storytelling tips to help you bring your ideas to life. Got questions or want me to cover something specific next? Drop it in the comments below.